Hey guys, Wheeling the Gamer Girl here and I just wanted to do another video on this. So basically around 18 years ago, the Indian Ocean tsunami struck Southeast Asia and during that time I was only a baby when it, you know, I was only a baby so actually I was one year old. So eventually let's talk about the story, the impossible. So what is the impossible about? The Impossible is actually based on a true story about Maria Bellon and her three boys going on vacation. But somehow the Christmas apparently turns into a disaster. So in 2004, Dr. Maria Bennett and her husband Henry, along with their three sons Lucas, Simon and Thomas, goes on a Christmas holiday to Lao Kak, Thailand. They arrive on Christmas Eve and began to enjoy the Orchard Beach Resort where, where it opened. Two days later, on December 26, the massive Indian Ocean tsunami indicates the area. So when Maria and Lucas actually emerges from the swimming water with one another, Maria had sustained serious injuries into her leg and chest. They help a toddler and, and soon Maria encourages Lucas to help others to find the family members. You know, okay. So during the following day, they avoid the ambulance plane to Singapore, where Maria actually has to receive like further uh, medical treatment. So they ensure that everything will be taken care of when Lucas actually sees a countless people going off with the inpatient list. Lucas has tells his mother that Daniel is safe with his father, and Maria cries out the window, and chaos left behind when the plane takes off. Now, this is actually a tragedy that actually happened 18 years ago, just after Christmas. So, Boxing Day is actually an English tradition. It is not from Malaysia, and I really do not know what is Boxing Day. So, I really don't celebrate that holiday. But yes, even though I do celebrate Christmas, I know sometimes it can be like a tragedy or something. Um, okay, so let's just... Um, See what is um Boxing Day first, cause um I'm really confused and you know I don't really celebrate that holiday. So Boxing Day is actually a public holiday which was celebrated in England after the Christmas Day. It's a tradition that actually occurs during the second day of Christmas time. It originated as a holiday to give out to the poor. It's celebrated in a number of countries in form of the British Empire. They actually attach the bank holiday or public holiday, which may take place on the 28th of December. Okay, now this is actually like all of that. So eventually, I wanted to just say this. Okay, so Tom Holland actually portrays Lucas, the 12-year-old son. Tom Holland is also an actor that voices Walter Beckett in uh, Spies in Disguise, and he also portrays Peter Parker in Spider-Man. So basically, Naomi Watts actually portrays Maria, a doctor and the mother of the Bennett family. So basically, the Bennett family apparently goes on holiday, but somehow tragedy struck. You know, like a lot of people died in the tsunami, it was seriously scared. It also actually affected some parts of Malaysia, not here, but it also affected in Penang as well. I was like really, really scared um, when I heard about this. I didn't actually hear it before because I was still like an infant, a toddler at that time. I was living in uh, Selangor as well. So yeah. Alright, so basically there was another story about this young 10 year old girl from United Kingdom. Her name was Tilly Smith. So basically Tilly and her family went on holiday and this girl is actually a fifth grader. So her family went to the beach one day, they saw a tsunami. Tilly knew what to do, so she just ran up to the hotel, warned the people about this, so they can get the person to safety, you know. Okay, so basically I'll just say it's like, the Indian tsunami on disaster was actually a magnitude of 9.1 to 9.3 magnitude. It stuck with the epicenter with the west coast of the northern, in northern Sumatra in Indonesia. So basically there were a lot of people, there are a lot of locals and people from Europe uh, Amer and America as well. I know this is like really really sad 
uh, to say this. I'm very sorry that I didn't do this video um, yesterday. It's because I really didn't have time. But I know once I actually watched The Impossible, I knew that movie had a lot of like bad feeling, you know, like serious. And I'm really glad that Maria and her family are safe. Even though this lesson just teaches us to help others. Now, there was also another thing. If you want to make your vacation safe, you know. Okay. In order to make your vacation safe, don't go to any countries which has warning signs. Because sometimes, this could really happen to you. So you need to know the basics on how you can prevent this from happening, you know. Okay, when you see a tsunami or any kind of uh, natural disasters, warn people immediately and don't grab any of your belongings. The only thing you need to do is to save yourself, you know. Save yourself from the situation. Help elders, toddlers, or disabled people in need. Now, this is why I've been telling everyone this. When I went on holiday in December, I didn't have problems, but if you're like under the age of 18, um, it's important to get accompanied by a parent when you're going on holiday. Be careful of like massacre and shootings cause you know there was actually one uh, massacre that happened in Thailand and I was super afraid. The 2004 tsunami had definitely killed a lot of people, there were children missing and somehow there were survivors as well you know. I was really sad when I watched the movie as well, when Maria and her family were swept away. But luckily, she and her family survived, you know. Maria is getting better and they promise never to return to this country unless it is safe, you know. Now, what I was actually going to say is this. So moral, you should always go to a country which is safe. Remember to read the guidelines and see which of the states are safe because sometimes in Southeast Asia, it is not safe, you know. You have to read and have to be very, very careful, you know. So always bring a friend to accompany you at night. Make sure you know the warning signs of a tsunami. If there's is rumbling sounds on the beach or if there's the water like suddenly making bad noises or maybe uh, having a big wave, it is really important to know the signs and get everyone to safety on high top. Don't wait until the last minute until you're swept away because this is where injuries occur. And luckily for that, I didn't go there, you know, like I didn't go to the beach because if I went to the beach, I would be seriously dead, you know, like I would be serious dead. I know, I know, I was a baby at that time, so I couldn't remember all the stuff, but as a teenager, and a young adult, yes, I can remember all of this, you know. Now, my advice to everyone is this. Whenever you're going on vacation, please be aware of the signs, such as a tsunami, a tornado, anywhere, anywhere in the world. I don't want anyone to get injured or hurt. And if you're ever going on holiday, it's important to read the, the guidelines, okay? Bring a first aid kit with you, just in case you get injured. And remember this, if you see someone who is in need of help in a tsunami, try and help them. Try to find their family, you know. And I was really, really sc scared and sad that there were a lot of kids who are under the age of 18 being swept away by their families. Some of them couldn't be found, you know, like I was really, really scared. Now. As of next year, since I'm going to college, uh, there won't be any tsunamis or any natural disasters happening in this country. Okay, but there is actually like tsunamis in Southeast Asia. Whenever you're traveling around the world, it is important to look out for the signs as well because there were a lot of tsunamis in the Philippines and we couldn't go there because, you know, my friend's country was actually affected by tsunamis and earthquakes, including volcanoes. So it's better to be safe than sorry to be aware of what province you're going. I know that some provinces are not dangerous, some provinces are. So you better be like really careful if you want to go. It's important to search these things up if you know before you go, okay? This is my advice. But anyways, guys. 
I hope you have a great Christmas and I hope everyone stays safe. Just remember you're not alone, but if you see someone in distress, try and help them, okay? And I know there's no more tsunami, so just relax, okay? But even though I still feel afraid about it, remember you have courage, you have strength. So go with your friends and family. Don't go by yourself, all right? But anyways, that's all for now.